Welcome collectors. In this video I wanted to showcase my HO or 1 to 87 scale fire department fleet. The majority of these vehicles are scene master slash Walther slash Bowley castings. However, there are, there are a few gems in here which are pretty cool and I think a lot of you guys will get a kick out of them. So I started this project, I don't know, over 10 years ago now and the idea was to take a lot of these trucks and develop a fictitious fire department that kind of had their own graphics or liveries or whatever. And at that time, I wasn't really familiar with, you know, how the decal, water slide decal application works. So starting out, I, I just used, you know, sticker, printing out custom stickers and things and applying it to these trucks. So, long story short, eventually, at some point, these stickers will all be replaced by much better looking and much more realistic um, decals, water slide decals. And you won't have, like, that red flash behind all the logos and stuff, and it'll look much better. So, with that out of the way, this is um, a Scene Masters or Walther engine, um, Spartan engine. I detail, I kind of say it's engine one. This is our primary engine, response engine. Goes out for pretty much everything. And these castings are relatively inexpensive. Depending on which one you get, they range between $9 and I think it's like $15 for the most expensive ones. They're super easy to disassemble. Um modify, customize, whatever you want to do. For example, some of the cab overs you can swap out with some of the international long noses if you want to, and vice versa. They're very, very easy to play around with. So that's our engine one. Our engine two is a much older international. It's also a fully scene master truck. The detail on these on these are really, really good. Albeit, majority of it is plastic, and there is a distinct color difference in the die-cast red versus the plastic red. This is one of the best trucks you can see it as. You know, I don't have the best high-dollar end camera or, you know, phone shooting equipment, camera equipment, whatever you want to call it. But it's very easy to tell what's plastic and what's die cast on these. Again, if you are a skilled painter and customizer, which I am not uh, at this stage, that's easy to overcome when you do your custom paint jobs and custom liveries on these trucks. But when you get them stock, that's one of the uh, issues that most model railroad enthusiasts, hobbyists, whatever, that, that they have is that the, the color match on this particular one isn't even close. But some of the small details are, you know, that huge monitor up on top. You have your your searchlights here. Nice ladder. Uh, two extinguishers on the back. These trucks don't have working steering, but they do have rubber tires with realistic um, wheels and hubs. And they're all held together by screws. So again, very easy to disassemble. So that is engine two. For larger calls or fires in urban environments where there may not necessarily be a lot of hydrants or water around, we have this. This is our tanker. Again, another um, older international long nose cab. The tank on this is, is metal. The cab is metal. Almost everything else is plastic. You can see the sticker on the front starting to come off on this a little bit. That these stickers have been on these for, I don't know, six years, seven years, probably longer than that. But uh, at this, at, again, at this price range and the fact that these are so easy to customize to cater to your department's needs or to your custom paint scheme needs, these are really excellent trucks. And I'm glad that Scene Master took over the license after, you know, fully folded and kind of went out of business. This is a unique apparatus here. This is what I deemed our emergency response vehicle, or ERV. This 
goes out to car accidents. It, it's kind of like a fast re fast attack vehicle. So if our engines are tied up or our rescues are tied up or whatever, this has a little bit of everything. It can go out to any emergencies. It's not used uh, at, at everything, but it has a little bit of everything should it be should it be needed. It's got a crew cab as well, so you can get you know people there that need to be there. The um, sides don't fold up, although they, you know, they give that impression that they do. But if, again, if you want to modify those so that they do open and close those cabinets, you could probably do that. But it's a solid truck. Next two are the same, exact same thing. I just bought two of them because most fire departments have several ambulances or medics in this case. And, uh... So, Medic 1, Medic 2 are international ambulances for the fictional Ashland Fire Department. Um, not too much to say about these. Boley and later, well, mostly Boley, did these in seven quad 7,000 different paint schemes and colors. You can get them in red, white, yellow, green, forestry colors. Almost everything you can think of, they, they did these. They even did these in, like, uh, black and blue for police tactical trucks, SWAT trucks. So anything you can think of, they're out there. Of course, the scalpers on eBay have them for, you know, 30 times what they're worth. This was uh, my first ladder truck that I have. I don't use this particularly as the main ladder truck anymore. This is more of a quint or a backup ladder truck. It's still designated right now as Ladder 1 because, as I mentioned, I haven't updated these with the right water slide decals and made these look really nice. But this was our first ladder. Rear mount Spartan ladder truck. Very similar casting to the Spartan uh, engine, just with a rear mounted ladder on this. Uh, regrettably, and one thing that I really wish they would have engineered on these is outriggers there's no outriggers on these on this truck at all whatsoever the ladder is extendable it will go up and it will extend one section just that just one single extension um, and it does it does spin to 360 degrees so again that's primarily what we use is our our quint truck This is our uh, heavy rescue vehicle and hazmat vehicle. It has a kind of comes up really dark on camera, but it's not that dark in person. It has a September 11th mural on it. Um, again, same cab for the most part. These these Spartan cab over trucks have these the same cab, whether it's the engine, the ladder. Uh, or the rescue, they they all have the same cab on them. Die cast cab, plastic body, rubber tires. The searchlights or um, lights, whatever you want to call it, the white the white pieces up on top, those are not extendable. They don't raise. But again, if you are a skilled plastic fabricator or whatnot, and you want to make those. Raise and move. You could probably do that with ease. This is not a scene master. This is a Woodland Scenics truck, actually. It's kind of a our parade vehicle. The hoses and stuff come off the side. The ladders come off the side. I'm not entirely sure what this is. What this truck is based off of in the real world. I don't know if it's supposed to be an old Mac or. Uh, what it is, or if it's entirely fictional casting. But it's cool to to have, either out in front of the model fire department, or, again, if you're doing a train show with a, a parade or something, you can have this in it. And, you know, like I said, these, ho these hoses do come off, and the ladders do come off as well. Alright, so the next thing I have... This is just a standard um, 
international cab that I added lights to. And I wanted one of these, a red one, to haul our fire dozers around. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get this whole thing in the screen. We have two fire dozers, both by First Gear, an International TD-15 and an International TD-25. Here is the 15. Put it on there so you can see both of them. The 15 has a winch on the back and sweeps on the cab. Obviously, the 15 would imply that it's a slightly smaller machine than the 25. Both of these dozers are beautiful castings by First Gear. Metal, metal working linked tracks, metal blade, plastic cylinders. Very detailed. The TD-15 is comes with factory number 2 painted on it. The 25, International Harvester TD-25, comes with number 1 painted on it. And uh, this dozer is substantially larger and has a ripper on it, as well as the mesh kind of ROPS structure on it. But this is an impressive display if you have, obviously, a forest fire diorama on your train layout or whatnot. Just a few more left to show you guys, and then we'll wrap up this video here. Uh, the trailer is a converted Norscott Talbert Lowboy, or excuse me, Trail King Lowboy. The wheels are Bowley wheels to make it more realistic because the trailer that comes with the Norscott one are plastic and not rubber, and the wheels don't look that great. The hubs don't look that great. Next two that I'll show you I have at my volunteer fire department, so they're much, much older Ford models by Athern. This is the engine. Um, these are all factory deco on it. Again, these were made in a bunch of different colors, white, orange, multiple different colors of red, yellow. This says County Fire Department engine number eight on it. These are, again, old Ford cab overs. And like you would see in either volunteer fire departments that are, you know, less, less funded and have to scrape pennies together to survive. Um, they have hand-me-down rigs and things like that, stuff that's barely, barely running in many communities and rural communities. And then this uh, telescort engine. These Athern trucks are um, expensive. There's no way around it. They weren't that bad when they first came out, but of course you have your, your hoarders and whatnot on eBay that like to drive up the price of everything. So uh, these these trucks are exceptionally expensive. And they really shouldn't be. I mean, they're good castings. They have a lot of detail on them, as you can see. But they're, they're certainly not worth what, um, what I paid. But I wanted to have a couple different representations of them. And unfortunately, it was one of those situations where I just broke down and bit the bullet and said, let's get it over with. So a couple of years ago, I added these to my collection. I wasn't necessarily sure if I was going to go with lime yellow or orange. Um, both of them were around the same price, so I could have gone either way, but I just decided to go with to go with orange, and I think it was I think it was a good decision personally. So those are those two, the two Fords. And the last two I want to show you, these were done by a buddy of mine that I found on Instagram, and as of the taping of this video, it doesn't it doesn't look like he's active, at least currently. Um, but he did, he took, he does a lot of custom fire apparatuses and, and buildings and things like that. This is one that he did. Obviously, it started out as a uh, Walther Scene Master engine, and he did a 3D printed body for it. Added a few things, spiced it up. I put an order in for the next rig that uh, that you'll see, and he surprised me with, with this one that came with it, which was awesome. I had no idea I was getting this truck. Um, yeah, so that is that one. And then this is, this is actually what I ordered and had custom made for me through him. 
and this thing is a beast. So, has working outriggers, obviously a working 100 foot aerial ladder, and it's all to scale. It's all to 187 scale. It has a nozzle at the front, air conditioning units up on top. And, again, the, the, the truck was lengthened and 3D printed and custom painted and custom decal application for the, the warning chevron on the back. And it has multiple, the ladder extends multiple different stages. It's not just one simple extension. And uh, this this thing is awesome. I, I cannot thank this guy enough for doing this for me. For whatever reason, in terms of the mass-produced scale market area, um, or, or market rather, your typical three-axle aerial ladder truck, nobody's really done it yet. So if you want one of these style trucks, either you have to go find a Matchbox Real Working Rigs one, which is... To be honest, not a scale model, it's a Matchbox toy. Or, you have to have a custom one made, which is what I ended up doing. So, if uh, Scene Masters or Walthers or somebody is listening, you are really missing the ball here and missing a huge chunk of your market. This is a, a type of truck and maybe one of these with a uh, bucket on the end of it for platform rescues. You really ought to think about making uh, making that a priority, because it would sell very, very well. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching these videos. If you have any comments or questions, you know where to leave them in the comment section down below. Take care, be safe, and we will see you in the next video.